Hello and welcome to Reality News Roundup. Here are the top stories of the week. The Labour Ministry recently eased the planned restriction on withdrawal of contribution to the Employees Provident Fund. The Ministry has allowed withdrawal for housing, major medical treatment for self and family, medical and engineering, education of children and their marriages. The relaxation has also been extended to members who have joined an establishment belonging to or under the central or state government and have become a member of contributory provident fund or old age pension. These norms will come into effect from August. The Greater Noida Industrial Development Authority has asked Realty Major Supertech to seal 1,009 flats and villas at its sprawling Zar complex in sector Omicron 1, Greater Noida for large-scale violation of the sanctioned plan. Nearly half of these units, which include 105 villas, have been sold. The development agency claims the company had permission for just 844 housing units at Tsar but built 15 residential towers with a total of 1,853 units in this 20-acre township. Narendra Modi-led government at the center plans to offer special facilities for people belonging to the minority community of Pakistan, including Pakistani Hindus. The facilities include investment in property in India, stay in India for a long-term visa, open bank accounts and get permanent account number and Aadhaar cards. Although the exact number of minority refugees from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan living in India is unknown, according to rough official estimates, there are around 2 lakh such people, mostly Hindus and Sikhs. The government also plans to simplify the process for granting Indian citizenship and lower the fees from rupees 15,000 to mere 100 rupees. Considering that a sizable chunk of migrant population in cities either don't want to or can't purchase a house, the government has prepared a policy to increase formal rental housing stock. These will be in the form of hostels, paying guest accommodations and dormitories under the social rental housing scheme. The scheme aimed at helping poor and labourers besides those who come to stay in urban areas for short periods for various reasons including studies, short-term employment, will get direct support from both centre and state governments. With celebrities facing flack over brand endorsements, the Central Consumer Protection Council recently said celebrities should be made liable for misleading advertisements. This was stated by Consumer Affairs Minister Ram Vilas Paswan after the CCPC meeting. Aswan, who is the CCPC chairman, said the council was of the view that there should be guidelines for brand ambassadors. Indian cricket team captain MS Dhoni last week resigned as the brand ambassador of royalty firm Amar Pali days after unhappy residents of a housing project in Noida launched a social media campaign asking the cricketer to disassociate himself from the builder. Thank you for watching. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram.